My name is Kat, this is Kitty Cat Thing, and today I want to talk about the dark side. No, I don't mean the black cape space drama queen dark side, although that is part of this. I'm talking about people's fascination with twisted, evil versions of our favorite characters or ourselves. Whether it's saintly Jekyll and devilish Hyde, an opposite world contacted by Christmas lights, or glitchy, knife-wielding versions of our favorite YouTubers, the world around us seems to be filled with monsters of our own making. But why? What is humanity's fascination with the creepy opposites that these sides represent? Well, first we should remember that this isn't a new fascination. Some of the earliest stories on human record are those of light versus dark or good versus evil. Such stories as those of Aten of Egypt, Apsu of Babylonia, or even the god of Christianity in Israel have a central figure that brings light and order to a world that's full of chaos and darkness. These tales come from a time when people had no scientific explanations for such terrifying phenomena as storms and disease and fire. Having a benevolent god looking down on you over all of this made sense in a world that made no sense of its own. Psychology explains this fascination in a slightly more personal manner. Carl Jung, a Swiss psychiatrist, came up with the idea of the shadow, which is a persona that's made up of all the negative, immoral, and violent things that society has deemed unacceptable. This concept goes hand in hand with that of projection as presented by Freud, which is taking all the things we see as wrong in ourselves and putting them on another object or person. The difference here being that Carl Jung intended the shadow to be a reflection of ourselves, whereas Freud's projection is an unhealthy coping mechanism. Jung suggested that by creating and writing these shadows as the villains in our stories, and then conquering them, we face and overcome our own negative thoughts and emotions. It's worth noting that Jung thought it important that shadows be redeemable, as assimilating a milder version of them into ourselves was supposed to make a person more whole and balanced. In the end, whatever the historical or psychological context, dark sides are just fun. It's fun to feel fear in a safe and secure way, hence why people love horror movies and games. Taking away the ability of something evil to hurt you turns it into nothing more than an adrenaline rush, and everybody loves those. That's all I've got for you today. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite dark side character is, and also let me know if you have any more ideas for these cool little educational videos. I'm having a lot of fun making them. Stay creepy, guys. See you in the next one. Bye!